All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to week six. I'm joined by your boy Crackshot. My name is True Lie, and guys, another day for Inferno. Gotta love it, gotta love it. And how you doing? How you doing, Zach? Feeling better? Yeah, I mean, I've been watching a lot of uh, a lot of the ESL, or I mean, IEM Oakland lately, and it's just been kind of getting me back into the mood of being myself. It's good, it's good. All right, so guys, we've got Robert Morris versus Trine. Now, Zach, tell me what you know. What are these stats on from both these sides? Let's start with Robert Morris. Uh, it's pretty opposite right now. I mean, we got Robert Morris, who's I uh, believe a new school this year to come into the league. So always good to see them doing really, really well. They're four and zero. They've only dropped you know a handful of rounds across these maps. I don't even think they've they got a plus fifty four round difference. So I mean. Like that's that's pretty great for a team that's just joining the league this year. Obviously, these guys having some experience playing together, uh, so great to see new. Always good to see new competition at the top, especially. Uh, unfortunately, on the side of trying, they haven't had such an easy time. I mean, in the same division, it's a strong division here. So I mean, they have they're having a tough time here. I mean, they've only got a couple of rounds across four games, so they're going to be looking to improve that and maybe come a little closer to a victory here. Yeah. So score lines opposite. You know, hopefully, you know, trying don't don't give up, right? Uh, with this current scoreline that we're seeing, but looking at the server, I do believe we have all players ready. So just keeping an eye on that. But guys, um, over on the trine side, yeah, like you said, they they haven't been doing too hot. But coming to Inferno, what is the best case scenario coming for for trying? Like, let's talk about these trying, guys are obviously have, the underdogs, right? Yeah, now. yeah, of course. You know, like I mean, and RMU is doing really, really well. Like I said, they they are obviously winning in the in the fashion that they're winning. It shows that they're playing at a different level here. And uh, for a team like trying to try to take a victory against them, you got to stick to your basic strategies. I think you got to just kind of play confidently. Stick to don't try to do anything too fancy because you're playing against you know a, a very strong team. And I mean, you pretty much have to win this knife round. I'd say. Yeah, over on Inferno, right? So before we talk about the map, uh, we'll get into that in just a second. So guys, if you are just joining us, this is Inferno. That's going to be played Robert Morris versus Trine. Um, just trying to find out what Trine is. I'm not sure if it's like the team name or a school name. Trine it's the, Thunder. The Trine is the school name, yes. Oh, interesting. <laughs> so it looks like they did actually lose that knife round. So uh, Trine going to be starting a bit of an uphill battle here, but nothing completely impossible ever since this map has been revamped. So again looking to see something you know explosive you need, you're gonna need to see these guys be quick they gotta you know take it to these uh to rmu because i can really see a team like rmu playing in a match like this playing like no respect cs you know we've seen sk professional teams do it to you know underdog teams like the mongols especially at this most recent event so you know even in this league it's not going to be unheard of for a team to play no respect if they're going to get away with it that's going to be trying job to stop that right away yes indeed sorry guys getting back in the game So we saw the a knife round play. RMB is going to find the CT side. So this is going to go down to can Trine really commit as five? I feel like their best chance is going to be committing here. I'm not too sure why I can't see guns. Um, interesting. interesting. Maybe, yeah, I don't see weapons at all uh, in, in the HUD. So maybe this will fix after this round plays out. But oh, there we go. It fixed. But look at this, try and they make five players run through Speedway and Lennox is in a good spot, misses the shot, but no one actually checks close. They're trying, they can make this work. They just need, they're gonna find sight control. Don't hold these guys out, guys. Yeah, sure, RMU will be 4-0, but, you know, they're, they're like tackling a crazy powerhouse. Oh yeah, they have a tough job here. Lennox and Welsh, not making it any easier on this retake. So RMU gonna take the pistol round here after I mean, Trine probably thought that they had that one in the bag. They did get the entries that they needed to. It didn't, it didn't look too promising. It looked as though RMU was, like, allowing them to play into that wrap. I mean, if you let, like, as you say, a family of five moving through spawn like that, if you let that through and you're ready for it, I mean, they can just pinch them into the site and play retake. It's a really popular strategy these days to do on several different maps. So uh, RMU did a good job there to retake it. Trine, you know, glad that they were able to get those entries, though. Yeah, I'm glad they actually got the bomb down. So we'll expect to buy from them on the third round. But regardless, there's going to be a rifle in play as Lennox is going to be holding that rifle. And uh, looks like trying. They're sticking to it. They know they need to stay together. And they're going to do just that. 
actually have a player pushed all the way down banana already. I believe that's going to be, I think that's a wall down there, but well, she's going to go down early a wall coming through Mexico, going to take one down with the MP9 in a second. This supplies a third goes down. That's Balto falling. Can he find the fourth? He will. Yeah, guys, guys I'm going to fix this as uh, I don't know why my gun's not showing from the terrorist players. It's not showing. It's showing certain just one side. Yeah, it's kind of weird. That's all. But I'm going to fix this really quick. So guys, don't go away. All right. All right. So it looks like we're good to go. Yeah. And we only missed two deaths. It's OK. Third round five for trying. Can they find their first potential round with, you know, finding that bomb plant in the pistol round, which gets them this AK buy. Forcing them to respect a little bit here. Oh, Fillmore just barely missing that shot onto Lennox and Pitt. Now he's the information has to be given. The rotate should come in. Lennox finds one bomb has fallen out too. So three players have a tough job here for trying. Oh, Lennox struggling 20 HP, but he's got Rowdy here. And Little Balto finds a nice kill, but they need to push in. And no, Sperm is going to pick that player off. No, dispute all by himself. In a 1v3 situation, and well, she's gonna say hello, so not too much can work out for these guys. As oh, Spermy can't get that gun, <laughs> yeah, that's really okay. That's just, so, not only can you not find guns, but apparently he can't either. Oh, goodness, I remember Spermy, I forgot what team he played. He plays on. In, I'm pretty sure he's in the main team, yeah. I remember uh, covering one of his games, I still have him as a friend. I'll have to ask him, but regardless. Ooh, nade down middle as a family of five looking to actually press on towards banana. These guys will be set back by this utility though. It's aggressive in here. Lennox finds the first kill. This view wants to say hello. He's got the only just the block though. And of course, he's gonna clean this up as well. Down to 20 HP. They both hold on to it. And now Balto all by himself. Just a pistol, not much he can do here. And as you can see, this is exactly what I was talking about before the game. We're seeing RMU play super disrespect kind of style CS. Well, she's going to get that shot through the smoke there. Picking up one with the little four rounds now for RMU. They got the start that they wanted and trying now with the second chance here at a gun round. And Supple's going to grab the op. So I always find it interesting when people use ops on this map on the T side because there's, you know, just it seems like there's very few angles, but there's a couple oppers that are really, really good at making it work. Alu, you know, one of the ones that come into mind for this map. So uh, hopefully Supple's able to get something going with that rifle. Yeah, Supple's. Can he find it? Oh, spots one, and there's actually three CTs pushing down middle. They're gonna actually trade spots here as alt. Oh my goodness, while well, she peeks out one, fights Cairo towards the connector side, and he's gonna fight another. The Galil doing some work. They pick up, he's gonna pick up an upgrade, but Balto's gonna shut that down. And next in line, Supple's still with the op. He's gonna pick up reality. There's still three players of arm you up, as the bomb is still in possession of Trine. Well, once again, we're seeing RMU. They've pushed all the way down mid. Balto seems to be aware of this. And they're actually being flanked right now as well. Lennox, the other B player, is coming up. Oh, they're going to run out of time here if they don't move quickly. They're covering their bases, doing a good job here, but not going to expect this push from behind. Could be a knife coming in here even, maybe. Oh, Lennox spots both of them. One, and he's going to miss that second shot. Is it detrimental? He supples who actually peeks out wide. Trying to get away from that situation, but Spermie's going to find that. So 5-0. and oh. Now, Zach... If you were the coach of trying right now, like you're seeing what's happening, what, what, like, would you, you obviously do a pause, right? But like, what would you tell these guys? 
Well, I think that once again, you know, it comes down to acting and reacting. I talk about this all the time. This is trying completely reacting only to what our MU is doing, and they're just kind of forcing their will with how they're playing. They're pushing down mid, they're pushing down banana. They're using their mechanical skills to their advantage. So Tri needs to do something to neutralize that that uh, just you know skill factor a little bit. They need to use numbers. They need to get into a site together. Flash very simply, do these kind of simple things, and that's where they'll find success. Oh, look at this. RMU, they answer back with a boost, but oh, oh no, what a, that's actually a scout that actually takes that player. But it doesn't matter, his AWOL actually cleans up two of them before he goes down. Kairos picked up an AK here, working with Fillmore. Down stilled by two men this round. Not much they're going to be able to do here. I think they may even consider just saving doing what they can to maybe do some more economic damage i mean they're doing well to get a lot of kills in these rounds but it just seems like our army once again just forcing their will doing what they can to, to find kills in the in the nature that they want to which is using their mechanical skill oh film more gonna fall to reality the next is gonna be cairo with just that ak is lots of time for him to get hunted here they don't know where the bomb is so army should be holding Pretty default position as well. She's actually here towards graveyard. He's gonna spot the dome. So six to no. Um, this next round is gonna be a buy round for trying as they are on the loss bonus, right? Uh, they had the op work a little bit. You know, get supples the op. Let's see how you remedy this. But spermie has been opping as well. And, and we, maybe go, yeah. Like, I mean, they could go for the opening pick here or something like that, yeah. but they got to try something. It looks like they're going to change hands with the AWP, though, already, and Balto going to maybe be left here without a rifle. I don't really know. They're having some confusions with their buys here. Not looking too hot for trying, but still early in the game. Still things can be done for them to win, and they're once again just holding this very, very passive default. Spermie pushing down mid with the AWP early. He's going to find the dome of Cairo. They're going down. Nice headshot to start off the round for Spermie aggressive and right now this is where you start to see the aggressive ct play look at this while she's on the other side of this door and the bomb he's got a spot this out so when he opens it he's got actually wow fill more right place right time i guess his ball toes down to 16 but close and bell goes for me spots a free kill and he knows there's one close by. It's going to be Balto who's completely lit up. And a wall might just tickle him. But he's looking the other way. Oh my goodness. The information has to be there. I mean, they had to have heard his footsteps. So Spermie going to be trained on this position. And will take him down with the op 7-0 now for RMU. Difficult situation if you're trying here. I mean, you're kind of running out of ideas. I mean, the only things that they haven't really tried is just playing quickly. And they, like I said, they really got to go. They got to change things up here. They're, they're playing so passively that they're just... You know, waiting for these gunfights that they're evidently having trouble with winning. Yeah, this is. I feel like they should go try to really go back to. Don't do a default, just balls to the wall, hit a site. Yeah, pick a strat, stick with it. That's what they gotta do. They gotta play simply. They can't, you know, you know, overthink these things. They're just kind of pushing themselves into alt and then sticking around. I mean, they're going for force buy after force buy at this point, trying to salvage some rounds in this half. But Supple's looking down mid, Spermy holding the angle. <laughs> I'm gonna find him right away on T-Steps though. <coughs> Sorry guys, cough attack. Um, This is a little confusing. This is where, oh my god, there's a chat. But, um, you know, try and st they're taking it slow, but what what is happening? You've got, they're taking control of apps now. You've got, who's all the way back there? It's Reality who's holding halls from the hay bales, and Cairo is gonna be first contact. He's gonna spot the dome. These guys want to execute through, but Spermie with the soft is going to be detrimental. He's going to actually back up. I like how RMU is actually giving them the respect, at least. Yeah, at this point in the round, they are playing smart. They're, you know, smoking things off, playing more proper CS, and at least giving them a bit of a, a shot here to crack into them because they're not adapting. And it looks like Balto will find the first pick onto Welshi. This might be the first time in the game that they found the opening pick. Other than maybe pistols, though, they have something to work with. Yep, and Spermie's anchored all by himself, but it doesn't matter because Reality's there to hold his hand. But that quick kill, quick kill onto Dispute is going to send his players back. But Balto runs through death, and the player right behind has to be Lennox to clean them up. But these guys, they're hesitating to commit. After that kill from Balcony, they're just stuck here. And look, Spermie's repositioned himself, and he's 
like reality once again in pit you need to deal with that player they're gonna do that but sperm with the op the rotate comes through but somehow supples has made his way to the speedway and he's gonna hold on to this ak so i don't know i feel like like you said they need to really commit like once yeah, they, they, they stick to, to yeah. it they need to do something here because what RMU is doing, you see where Spermie is posting up with that op every single round. These are very, very punishable angles, and Trine's doing nothing to neutralize that. They're not mauling off the window when they're taking alt control. You know, they're not peeking together when they're taking sights. You saw how that happened. It was one after another after another. You can't just waterfall out of apps every round and expect to win a T-side Inferno. Yeah, but once again, the op, and of course the nade smoke. I like how Spermie timed that. But regardless, he's in for a treat. No, plus some personal. Spermie's gonna find two, looking for a third, but Cairo's gonna deny that. And now, while well, she's gonna find the refrag on to Cairo, and now down to two players here for Trine Thunder. Baltal and Supples. Bomb in possession, but look, even in the situation, they, they find a kill, right? It's hard to attack these sites because RMU, regardless of them playing aggressive finals those earlier rounds, they're actually playing discipline. They're actually giving, you know, trying some respect. And I like that. But yeah, even then, course. it makes it even more difficult, though. Yeah, at the same time, like, it's it's a nice thing to do. But at the same, like, to just, you know, play proper CS, don't play that kind of, uh, you know, pug style stuff that, we, you know, we're used to seeing in these kind of blowout matches. But at the same time, it makes it difficult because Trine is having trouble adapting, although they will finally pick the B site and take out A wall. They may be able to beat this rotating player there. That's going to be Lennox, the first point of contact. Information should come in. The bomb is here, and the first gunfight will happen. Oh. One deek from Lennox to take down the first, and a second on a Balto. Four nine rounds now. RMU just running away with this at this point. Trying needs to go with something a little bit more, you know, numbers based. I think at this point, I've said it before. I mean, at this point, it's it's just going to be them deciding to adapt or not. It looked promising, you know, after Balto find that first kill bottom of banana, but yeah, come exactly. on now, that Deagle. Come on, Lennox. Jeez Louise, so that's gonna get shut down. And now we're 9 and 0. The double digits coming in for RMU, possibly, but oh! Trine, they need to stick to this. They need to commit. Gain control, clear out the sandbags, and then commit. But oh no, Welshy. He's gonna hear these guys stampede, and the rotates gonna come right through, guys. He's right behind them too. LA Dispute will turn and take him down though, not before Lennox finds three and Reality joins his mode as well, leaving LA Dispute by himself. All or nothing though as AWOL will take him down. 10 rounds now, RMU. Yeah, it's just, it's just rough. Like, oh, even yeah. when Trine want to commit, like, it's like RMU have an Oracle on their side and just reading Trine right now because whenever RMU goes aggressive, Try and commits to a site and then they you know they just get flanked and it's a spaghetti after that. Well these very experienced players they know how to read, you know, counter strike situations. They know, you know, they they can kind of predict what Trine is doing because they, you know, Trine isn't playing the simple kind of CS that involves them oh you know, playing quickly. Oh God. what a wall bang! Hello. Reality. I caught that on candid camera. Oh my god. The reality, what is this man doing? He might pay the price though, but he switches to the Deagle. Wants to find some more and fill more. Gets tagged out of 6 HP. This guy loves to wall bang. Oh, and he's gonna give that up. Three players up, four trying, and they want to make their way towards halls, but it's reality here. One and two. The bomb in possession of the CTs. And now Balto all by himself with just dualies. I mean, at this point, like, what can you do? This is well, this is like a round from reality that's absolutely huge. Going for the ace, gonna fall to the dual Berettas of Balta before he picks up Cairo's MP7. Now left all alone, being flanked from all angles, he will finally fall. A nuts round from reality. Call this man the landlord because he just took control of apartments. Oh my goodness, that was. <laughs> Come on, Zach, you got you got to be like that. Yes, I did you like that. I, I it's, it's, you know, it's a new meme every night. It's gotta be. <laughs> oh my goodness. So eleven zero, no pause out from trying. Um I like the Mac 10, but you know, this off from supples. You need to find some room here for the thunder. And somehow that shot missed, but it's against him here as he did get tagged up. Smoke's gonna rain down. An aggressive A wall. He's actually trying to fight this, but he's gonna jiggle right back. As Lennox close by. 
Seems like we're giving smoke. away a lot of sound cues right now. That's why these rotates are coming in so quick. Oh, what a shot from LA Dispute there. We'll take down Welshie in apartments unsuspecting, though. Reality will probably just wall bang him in a few minutes anyway. Yeah, that was that was a nice timing by Reality. I've never seen that wall bang before. Oh, I've seen it, but I've never seen anyone like that player was jiggle peeking, like going in and out of that stair. But Lennox in for a treat, <laughs> and that treat is gonna be a dink to the face. A wall is gonna be pretty much left alone here, but he's getting pressed. Lennox does go down, and Spermy in the face of death, and he's Balto's gonna completely ignore him. And oh my goodness, the bomb flies into sight. That player cooked alive. That's gonna be Supples. But A wall says hello. Um, nice off with LA dispute, but A wall is gonna pick up two. Now this is potentially around here for Trine Thunder. Can Cairo step this up? He's got two kills under his belt. But will he face reality? He's got a smoke to work with here. I mean, he may choose to smoke off CT across. I mean, he started this round of the MAC-10, was able to tape down the AWP, but reality holding the angle will spray him down. 12-0 now for RMU, looking very hot. Once again, keeping that round differential hot and trying, getting very close that round. It looks like they're kind of finding a little bit of success. You know, they've been leaning towards the A site throughout the game, and now they've changed things up and moved towards the B site here. Although RMU... Tons of money to work with. They can buy every round for the rest of the half and support this double op setup that they've been able to work with. It's going to be, again, it's 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 an uphill battle to play T side Inferno, and RMU is just doing everything right to make that hill steeper and steeper every round. And yep, and Supples. He's got the scout. And Spurgeon is actually going to tag down to 14 HP. But over towards Banana, a wall set up, followed by Lennox with the off, and he misses as well. He gets tagged by the scout. Supples has done his job. He's tagged up two players. A wall's gonna go down, and Lennox will take out the off. He misses another shot, and all Troy needs to do is commit to this. Finally cutting into the site. Lennox though shutting down Cairo. Well, she and Mini Pick gonna take down one and finds a second onto Balto. Third one flanking down Banana is LA Dispute. Finally trading him out, but only 10 HP left to work with. And a flanking player coming in, that's not gonna matter as Spermy takes him down. 13 rounds now. You're right, they are committing. They're doing what they can, but once again, you know, taking a little bit too long to get into this site. The rotates are coming in by the time that they're working on getting these kills. And, you know, RMU's doing a good job at, at being passive when they need to be, and then they're being, you know, aggressive when they need to be. Supporting this double op setup is gonna be easy for the rest of the half, and, you know, I expect them to keep uh, keep this lead. Although Balto is doing really good work here to find entries. I mean, he's found a couple really important entries in these close rounds, and, I mean, he might be a key to, to finding success in the future if they're trying to work with it. This well, she aggressive again comes down, finds a kill, and Abel wants a piece as he line up two players down banana all by himself. Actually, his car will get pressured down and stuck in Mexican, but his teammate Fillmore he answers back. Cairo spring through Mexico, We're gonna do a little bit of damage. Although, another one being from Lennox, this man is a pistol madman. And Fillmore will find a fourth. He needs the ace to complete the round, but Spermy just toying with him now. Oh, this is no. just rude. Fillmore, just turn around and gun this man down. Please don't do this. Oh, no. I thought he was going to react to that. Yikes. Just a little scary when you hear that first left click and it's not a kill, right? Yeah. That. I wish the ace came out for trying. You know, find the yeah, that second last round. That's something that they need, you know. It's like you know you gotta you gotta have those you know those those bedtime Christmas stories that make you feel good about Santa Claus. You know, Try and Thunder needed that that sort of ace as, as a moral boost, I think, at this point. But still, I mean, you know, they're they're doing well to get close at least in this round to win a match that they're kind of a little bit outmatched here. LA Dispute takes down Welshi from the stairs, punishing this man finally for being aggressive. Very peaking angle with the AWP will take down LA Dispute, and now three men left on the side of Trine in the last round of this first half. Yeah, this this is kind of awkward because look at how forward RMU is playing. Actually, well, towards the yeah, they did play a little bit more forward, but there's no one pushing down mid. Well, she got punished for it. And now Balto, Fillmore, and Cairo. This is the last round. He's going to pick up an upgrade. Oh, reality's going to hear all this, actually. Oh, Cairo, please make it work. But no, he gets... Shut down from the side at Balto. No supplier in the halls, but this is definitely really tricky. Fillmore needs, needs to pounce. 
and they both will pinch that player, but still a man advantage for the defense. A wall finding information down middle now. Flanking player is going to be Lennox with the AWP as well. This is so much information gained. They know where these players are. Balto now falls, leaving Fillmore once again with a tough task of regaining control of this round. Although he won't see the alt mid player, they'll run right past each other practically as he's escaped now. They don't seem to realize this. He could make it all the way to the B side untouched. Oh boy. Is RMU going to be disciplined or will they play around with Fillmore? Uh, we'll, we'll see. He's gonna get the I really hope down. they don't go for the knife. Oh, they're gonna go for the knife. They're swinging already. Uh oh, come on, Fillmore. We're gonna be, oh, no. Lennox is gonna end it just like that. So that's gonna seal 15 rounds in the first half for Robert Morris. And uh, try and thunder. You no, know, I gotta give them props for playing this out. Like, they, they, they definitely knew, like, based on stats, like, you know, RMU has been a strong school even the previous year. Um, I'm not too sure. Trine must be a new school. Yeah, I don't think they were here last year. I wasn't really aware of RMU being here last year. I mean, I, I at least think that, you know, this roster is doing a little bit more damage than so they were last yeah, year. They've, they've been pretty effective last year. Oh, they did well? Okay, yeah, yeah so... Again, yeah, like it's, uh, these guys obviously have experience playing together. You can just kind of tell with the way that they set up here. And they may only have one round to win here on T side to take this one if they're expecting to keep this. I mean, it's an impressive season either way at this point. If they're able to take this match at a low round count for trying, I mean, they still haven't even lost a full round's worth of games. Like, if you think about that, you're five games into the season. Yeah, and trying. Everyone in chat, give them your energy. This is going to be 19-15 for Trine, obviously. That's coming in because Fillmore is going to do an amount of... Oh, my goodness. Like, there's a stack here towards Coffin. It's a promise. Oh, it's going to be one to go down two. Cairo finds two. They're going to back up completely, but Lennox wants a piece. Got the block. He's struggling. And so far, it's a man advantage here, but... Oh, my goodness. <gasps> Trine have done it. They find the they pistol. Were, they succeed. Cairo, though, those nice two opening headshots on Coffin really set the tone in this round. And I mean, he was the player to watch for this match. And I mean, he's obviously showing us why here in this pistol round, doing what he can to regain a little bit of momentum here for trying. I mean, this is a near impossible comeback for them to make, but any rounds here that they can work with, I mean, this is experience that, that's going to be valuable for them, especially against such good players. Yep, and this setup. Oh, LA Dispute. Is there going to be Dispute? He's got the XM, but he doesn't do enough damage. It's going to be Kyro next in line. He's going to reload. Two bullets in the clip. He's going to quickly reload, but Balto. He's going to find no player. He does get peaked, and Supple is actually going to find a kill on to Spermy. Kyro has given the sight, but here comes Fillmore with the P90, the Antichrist of all guns. He needs to get shut down, though. And down to Supples in a 1v2. We're going to turn off the X-Ray. He's to spot that player out. Picks up the FAMAS. And he has a kit. He's a flash as well. But he needs to clear this out. Oh, the crouch. That's deadly. So, I got I to say, you know, at least try and took a round off. Robert Morris. Yeah, they won't be shut out today by RMU, but again, you know, they had a tall task this entire game. Uh, you know, they did well to come very, very close to winning a couple rounds. I mean, the scoreboard doesn't really tell how close a couple of the rounds were, uh, so they have at least something to work with, and I mean, Inferno can be a very punishing map when there's a skill gap between the teams, so I mean, this is probably a bit more damage than, you know, they deserve to see, unfortunately, as their team is developing here in RMU once again, moving through another successful season, uh, so... You know, ultimately, we saw what we kind of expected to see. But at the same time, you, you know, congratulate trying for at least, you know, showing up, doing what they can. And, uh, you know, hopefully they'll be able to build from here. Yeah, that's like I like how schools will at least they showed up to the match. Right. There's some schools who are probably doing taking forfeit losses just by not showing up. Right. Just because their score line, you know, when it comes to collegiate esports, guys, like, yeah, you you might be facing a, a powerhouse like. Honestly, for our school, St. Clair College, the Saints Gaming, um, when we played UBC, 
I told these guys like, yeah, they they have a few players in Maine. Yeah, they were second best behind, um, you know, five in CUNY Baruch, who are technically the t- I think they're third right now, by round differential. But um, you know, I told these guys like, play together, have the confidence, and let's let's uh, you know show people that we're we're trying to be a powerhouse too. Um, but what comes down to it, like, I'm not too sure what support Trine has, but I know. Robert Morris University has a lot of support for their CSGO team, if I recall. Yeah, I mean, like, as a, as a team that's just entering the league, you know, we talked about the skill gap being there, obviously good for them to show up. I mean, uh, the division's probably going to keep growing every year. And I mean, with the skill gap growing, I mean, there's going to it's going to be, you know, a learning experience for everybody because you're going to see RMU get to take on some of the top teams probably this year at the land with the way that they're working so far. Um, so uh, you, you see them working in one sense, but then you get the opportunity to play against these players where you might not necessarily get that elsewhere for a team like Trine. So like I said, they get to build on this. They get to, you know, at least they're starting. At least they're yeah. doing something to bring esports to their school. Yep. Then honestly, guys, it, the, the first year is always tough. Trust me. It's a lot of stress. Um, yeah, you guys got a tough division. Yeah. And uh, with that being said, though, there is another match tonight at 10 p.m. EST. Or 7 p.m. PT, and that's gonna be um, UT Austin versus North Texas. I remember these schools; they were both here last year. I don't remember what their records were, but um, hopefully, we'll see a little bit of a longer game. But with that being said, guys, I'd like to thank you all for tuning in for this first match. So join us at 10 p.m. But also hit that follow button if you like what you saw. Um, of course, you know it was a stomp. It, these things do happen, but Got to give it to Trine for finding around and not giving up. They didn't really fully, they didn't throw, you know what I mean? Like that that whole sportsmanship, they, they played it out. Yeah, they did well. They did well. So guys, we'll catch you guys at 10 p.m. And I'll see y'all later.